All right, guys, so we are here with a top pro player, Roscoe Bellamy. He is known for a lot of things on the court. I think in particular, though, something that I'm super impressed by is his two-handed backhand drive in singles. You can also use it in doubles, just in general. Great two-handed backhand drive. So um, what are the things that I guess you focus on on the two-handed backhand drive in terms of maybe your technique, but also where you're placing the ball? Yeah, so especially lately, I've been focusing on really trying to get around the ball. I think getting around that ball, you can both go down the line and cross court, so it looks really deceptive. Connor Vanette does clarify that, that very... Just to clarify, when he says yeah. around the ball, so you mean facing the ball, you're Yeah, so paddle tip down, and you're hitting the outside of the ball. So from this position, I can kind of rope it down the line, and I can go cross court, and yeah. I can drive across court. Um, and then trying to use my left arm a lot. And then I'm also trying to keep the arm straight. I feel like it helps with a little bit of stability as well. Yeah, for sure. You definitely don't want your um, elbows too close to your body on the backhand. You don't have as much leverage with the backhand, so you want to try to maximize what you do have. Um, lastly. Yeah, at the kitchen line, I would not keep the arm straight, but from the baseline and driving, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty solid. 100%. Um, so. The other thing Roscoe is known for that I'm super impressed by with Roscoe's game is his serve. Yeah. He's got a great serve, puts a lot of his body into it. So can you just tell me maybe what are the keys to your serve and why is it so much better than my serve? Um, I think I'm just, you know, I work out a little more than you, a little more wrist strength. That's for sure. Um, That's for sure. No, I think, I think for the serve, I had kind of have more of a semi-Western to Western grip, so it helps me get a lot of topspin and then... I have that tennis background, so you know a forehand comes pretty natural to me. Um, yeah, I also try and on the serve come from like an inside-out motion. I think with my grip, it helps generate a little extra spin, and then just going for it over and over. So and just practicing. to clarify for the for the audience, so when you say inside-out motion, that's the opposite of getting the outside of the ball in the backhand. Yeah, so I, I try to I try to to come, or I, I guess uh, I'll change that. I try and get around the ball. Um, back or around the ball rather than just coming on top. Yeah, um, got it. And it helps kind of drive that ball up and give me a little extra spin. And then I just try to rip it as hard as I can every time and I think just reps help. Last thing on the serve. So how many serves do you say that you would miss out of 100? Today in singles or Puerto Rico, I probably missed three serves in that whole match out of 100 i do not know probably i think if i'm missing 10 that's totally fine 10 out of 100 but that's crazy roscoe because when i took a clinic i was taught to just make every serve yeah. just put every serve in. no that's wrong was 20, I, was 2024 I pickleball is different 2024 pickleball is a lot different it's a new right. game okay well now we know thanks roscoe <laughs> all right guys so as you may have known if you see my player profile on the PPA Tour, I modeled my resets after Jackie and Jade. Unfortunately, my resets are significantly worse than Jackie Kawamoto's here. She's a premier player, one of the best female players in the game. She's so generously offered her time to tell you guys what goes through your mind during resets? Why are you so good at resets? Yeah, I like the reset. It's one of my favorite shots. Um, I just try to remember to stay low, um, to keep my feet, kind of plant, plant myself first, um, keep my feet steady, and remember to stay low and keep the ball out in front of me. I tend to dip the paddle head quite low as well, like the tip of the paddle is kind of facing toward the, toward the ground, um, and that usually helps me um, give it a good lift. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think of and it hasn't really helped me a lot if you ever watched me play. <laughs> Resets still need a lot of work. But I'm thinking of like letting the ball come to me a little more. Do you kind of think of it as like a bit of a catch, maybe waiting for it instead of going to get it? Yeah, definitely. I definitely like it to come to me. I wait for it. Um, and I kind of soften up my grip too, depending on how hard the ball is coming at me. If they're hitting it pretty hard, I definitely like to just try and absorb their power and give it back. Um, it's a, if it's a little bit softer, I need to tighten it up and give it a little more push. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last thing, we'll just stay with the reset because everybody asks this question. One to ten scale. Ten is you're trying to, you know, Ryan just made me mad. I'm trying to choke it out. Ten out of ten. And then a one out of ten is it's just falling out of your hand. Where on that scale are you in terms of like grip pressure on the reset? I'm at like a two three, I think. Whoa. Um, okay. But Neil's going to yeah. like that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Two three. Anything else? That's all.
Uh, that's it for the reset. Um, just a lot of Fine, practice. Fine, she's a lot still here, so we'll ask about the forehand dink. <laughs> so Jackie's forehand dink is significantly better than mine, so that's why we're bringing her on. Two things she's way better than me at resets and forehand dinks. So, real quick, what is it about maybe your semi-western grip that maybe helps you with the forehand dink? Because I know a lot of questions about conical grip, eastern grip, semi-western grip. So she uses a semi-western grip. Um, how does that maybe help with topspin on the forehand dink? What else? Yeah, definitely easier to generate some topspin, I think, with the semi-western grip. Um, again, I dip the paddle head pretty low when I uh, go for my swing. I like to keep it out in front. Um, and yeah, just kind of brush up on the outside of the ball when it's coming to me if I'm going cross court. Um, that <laughs> we could actually keep that in. That's actually good content. No, that's good. That's actually perfect. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think that's it for the interview, guys. Pablo Teles took over.